Hi, this is KB2MXV, and I want to give you a little demo on WinLink. So let's open WinLink Express. And if you haven't set up anything for WinLink, you want to go to winlink.org. Here you could download the WinLink software. And here in my account, is where you want to create an account because you're going to need your username and password to enter into the WinLink software. Now, once the software opens for WinLink, let me just make that larger. There's uh, three steps you how you configure this uh, software up. So the first step is when you go to Settings and WinLink Express Setup. Here's where you're going to put your call sign in and your password from the winlink.org website. Here you're going to put all your uh, user information in, your contact information. And once you're done with all that, put your grid square in, and you want to click the update button. This way your information gets updated. The second thing you want to do is make sure ARDOP WinLink is, drop, is in the drop down here. And this is because this is the mode we want to use. This will send emails via RF only. So once you have that selected, you want to click Open Session. And in the Open Session, you can see my radio just changed channels. In the Open Session, what you want to do, there's two things you want to do. Uh, see how it tried sending that it stopped automatically? Okay. There's two things. The first one is radio setup. And I'm using an ICOM 7300, uh, but any radio will work. So you're going to select your radio from the drop down. Okay, there's a big list. And uh, my uh, CVI address is 94 for my radio. The USB digital is the mode I want to be in. Uh, this COM7 with a board of 115200, that's how my radio was set up in the menu of the radio. And my PTT is also going to be on COM7. I needed to enable RTS. You may need both checks or none checked. And once you have that set up, you're going to hit update. And the second thing you want to do is go ARDOP TNC setup. And when you're in here, for you uh, hams that do FT8, you're going to notice the USB codecs. These are the same codecs uh, in the USB devices that you use on FT8, if you've ever used FT8. So you want to make sure your audio codecs are correct, because that's where your audio is going to come in from, where it's going to be decoded and sent out to be received. So once all that is done, we can close the uh, RDOP session window. And we're going to be back to the, the regular uh, email window. So what we're going to do here is we're going to send an email. And what we're going to do is go to a message and new message. So I'm going to send this email to another email address I have, d-a-m-a-t-o-f-c at gmail.com. My subject is going to be winlink demo for YouTube video <coughs> excuse me and in the message the the message of the body of the email I'm just going to put this is a test email demonst demonstrating how winlink can send email over RF so when we're ready to send this message we want to click post to outbox when you click post to outbox, if you notice now, our out outbox has one message in it. Here's the recipient. Here's the sender. Uh, take notice of the size. It's only 254K, so that uh, will send fairly quick once we connect to another radio. And here's the message ID right here. Uh, keep note of that message ID because we're going to see it when my radio and the remote radio uh, try to connect and handshake and you're going to see that message ID pop up. So let me just turn the volume on on my radio. And right now it's on an FT8 channel. So you're going to hear some FT8 noise. Okay. 
But once we're ready to send that email, we want to click Open Session. And there my radio just changed. Once, let me just load out a little bit more. Once you're in uh, this WinLink window, the first thing you want to do is go to Channel Select, Channel Selection. When you go to Channel Selection, you're going to get a list of remote stations that have the TNC setup that you're going to connect to. So depending on the time of day, depending on the depending on the band conditions, you know you may want to grab a 40 meter station, a 20 meter station. Uh, I mean, an 80, a 40, a 20 meter stations. Here's all the stations. Here's all the call signs. I'm just going to grab the very top one because this appears to be the closest to me, 66 miles, and 3593 is the frequency. So once you pick the one you want, all you want to do is just hit the select button up top here, and that call sign and frequency will get loaded into your setup. And we're going to hit start. And what we want to do is follow the progression of the email being sent. I'm going to turn up my radio now. So I'm going to hit start. You're going to notice my radio goes into a, a, a few transmission modes. What we're trying to do is wake up that KB3 PCY machine. And once it wakes it up, you're going to start hearing like an old dial-up connection. The, how the internet was a long time ago. Now, if there's any problem connecting, it'll tell us. I oh, see it said failure connecting. So, what I can do here, uh, this station, I'm going to say add to favorites. And here's your favorites. Here is a drop down of stations I've used before that did work. So let's try this uh, KQ4ET station. Notice how it changed. The frequency change on your, is going to change on the screen as soon as I hit start. Now let's try the handshake with KQ4ET. So now we're talking, there you go. The station is 273 miles from me. We're now connected to them. Notice here it says connected in receiving state. So we just did a handshake. Notice the message ID up here. Here's the message ID right here that's, that it's going to send. My radio is receiving, now it's transmitting, and now here it's sending the, the message ID that, uh, from my outbox here. And it says in sending state. Once it's done, it'll give me a confirmation, and you'll notice that that outbox one is going to go to zero. And there you have completed send of message. Now it's going to disconnect from that radio. Okay, notice how to start. The stop got grayed out, now it's on start. So what I'm going to do now that the message sent, I'm going to close the Windlink session down. The radio flip back to my FTA channel, I'm just going to lower the volume. So now I have no messages on my outbox and we have no messages on the inbox. So what we're going to do now is open up my email program and let's see if there's any emails from my WinLink account. So let me hit send and receive. And usually they show up fairly quick.
So let me do a quick refresh. And this is real time here. Refresh it one more time. So that's my HDR log email. I'm gonna delete that. Let's try that one more time. Now, I guess it takes about uh, three to five minutes for the email to actually get sent from the uh, remote side. Crack a barrel. Okay. So here, kb2mxv at winlink.org. Here is the email that was sent, that my radio sent out to the remote station. So if I click on it, it gives you my winlink email address. And the message says, this is a test email demonstrating how winlink can send email over RF. That's what I sent. So now if you were sending this to uh, an EOC coordinator, um, or another member of your, of your team during some sort of uh, internet outage or power outage. So what I'm going to do now is go to reply. Now don't forget, I'm sending this to my desktop computer. But if there's someone else out there with WinLink that I'm communicating when there's no internet to, I could just send it right to their winlink.org email address. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm sending it to my computer. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to reply back to this email address. And my message back is going to say, I received the WinLink message. This is a reply for video purposes. Okay, so I'm going to send this out. Let's just give it a second. I want to make sure it does go out. And once it is send or sent, I'm going to go back into WinLink and I'm going to connect to WinLink and I'm going to have it look on the server for any emails back to me. So I'm going to minimize my email client. So remember before how we did message, new message? We're not going to send anything. Now is the time where I'd be checking the server for any messages that somebody sent me. Now, you know, you might do this once a week under normal conditions. Uh, if there's an event going on, you may want to check this every 15 minutes, 10 minutes, you know, whatever your needs are. So to check for email, and notice the inbox says zero unread, okay? All you want to do, because your software is all set up, you want to click open session. Now, once the session opens up, you're going to see the radio is going to flip channels again. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to hit start. We're keeping the same channels because that's what worked for us last time. So let's just click start. And the radio will start calling that service station. We're going to wake it up. And then WinLink will check for any mail on the server for me. Okay. So we're starting to communicate. So 
here it says we're connected to them. To the KQ4ET. We're not sending any email, but we're going to check for anything coming in. Appears to be the message that I sent from my desktop computer. And there it goes, it's receiving that message. Notice the message ID here, that's what you're going to see up top in the message ID in inbox. If you notice, my inbox just flipped to one unread message, and the software is going to stop communicating uh, with my radio very soon. Notice the stop is dark and start is grayed out. They're going to switch once we're done uh, communicating. Okay, there you go. So let me lower the radio. So here it disconnected. It says messages received one. And what we could do is shut the session of WinLink down. And we'll go up to the inbox. Here's the message ID we spoke about. And here is my reply from my computer to the WinLink server. I received the WinLink message. This is a reply for video purposes. And there you go. We sent an email. And then we logged back in and received an email. All via RF. Uh on the HF frequencies. This is KB2MXV.